2013 is the Woodcote Park centenary year. Woodcote Park is, is the ideal place for members to come as a base to explore the, the wonderful Surrey countryside which is just on our doorstep. The club was founded in 1897 by Frederick Sims and Charles Harrington Moore and these two gentlemen translated from French the Automobile Club de France Rules and Regulations which then became the Automobile Club of Great Britain and Ireland. This building was designed by Mevis and Davis, uh, famous architects who also did the Ritz here in London. The building is more or less as it was. The swimming pool was originally where it was designed, the club room, most of the function rooms where they were, and the swash coats, of course, all, all an integral part of the uh, original design. Not only is it a Grade 1 listed building, Pall Mall is one of the most historic streets in London. A lot of our members do live in uh, central London, um, and they find that Pall Mall is a useful place for them. But living in London, you do need somewhere green to go to, to see the country. Last year, uh, I was at Woodcote Park, and uh, had the honour to meet His Royal Highness Prince Michael of Kent, who is the president of our club. He came for the annual president's briefing. It was a fascinating day, uh, and I found him absolutely charming. I have benefited from both clubhouses at, at different times and for different purposes, obviously. Uh, and I would like to think that more members um, in future have the opportunity to benefit from both clubhouses. Woodcote is very much, it's the country club, it's your house in the country. It is quite the most beautiful estate. You've come to the country, you actually relax here and you feel you can put all your cares behind you. It was originally bought by the early members in 1913 as a place they could drive their cars to and relax and enjoy both their motoring and other sporting pursuits. The golf courses are of, a, of quite a contrast to one another. Designed by a very, very prominent uh, golf course architect named Herbert Fowler. He's designed golf courses all over the world that have been in the top 100 in the world as well. There's so much here to enjoy, you know, from the cuisine of the, the, the Boston to the Cedars, you know, with the swimming and the tennis. And actually, to be honest, it's just a beautiful walk around the golf course, just to enjoy being out in the countryside. The club was founded to promote motoring. At the heart of it, we like our cars, we like our motoring, but we're a broad church with a lot of interest and I think that's what makes the club a very interesting club because you can meet all sorts of people in either clubhouse. In Pall Mall I walk into the, uh, into the clubhouse in the main entrance and it's wonderful. You have the great ambiance of the club there. It's the atmosphere. One of the things that, that I think we feel, you're right in the centre of London and then you go through the front door and you're in a different world altogether. It's calm, it's relaxed, um, it's comfortable. We feel very much at home there. We do lots of work with celebrity chefs, we do lots of charity work and when they come in here it's like, I didn't believe this place existed, you know, and, uh, and so we're really proud of it. For me it's probably the best kept secret in London. Paul, have you got the affiliates for tonight? Have you got them cut on trays? Yeah, can you bring them out? Just... We've got such a variety of areas. We've got the long bar, um, we've got two restaurants and lots of banqueting and obviously we've got uh, over 250 staff to feed as well. I just get huge pleasure from uh, both Woodcote Park and Pall Mall. Both our families were involved with the club. My father was a member, Martin's father was a member. I remember coming here when I was a small child, swimming in the swimming pool. I introduced first uh, uh, by my grandfather. I used to carry for him on the, when he played golf on the golf courses here. So I've known the club for many, many years. But it's very important though that we actually think about the future. We have to provide facilities that our members, who are members of today, not members of 100 years ago, enjoy. The future is more important than the past.